Hello, Tab Nation. It's your boy, Tom. And today we're just doing a quick video. I would like to hear your opinions on here, but we're going to just do a quick thing about using if and else and sometimes how it's okay to use it, but a lot of times it might actually be a bad idea just because it's going to help you later on. It's going to help anybody else who takes over your script. And basically, here's what we're going to do. We're going to have an input box. It's going to save the variable as just VAR. I'm keeping it simple. Obviously, you change that to whatever you want. Probably don't do VAR. That's actually a, a bad example. <laughs> um, and we're just going to say pick a number 1 through 100. Submit. Then what we have here is we have if variable is greater or equal to 101. We're going to get... Oh, we're going to get a message box. I don't know why that's not there. Uh, that just says you pick too high, fool, because we're... That's over 100 when I said don't pick that high. Uh, so this is kind of like its own thing. But our if else is right here. So we're going to say if variable is greater or equal to 50, we're going to get a message box that just says you picked 50 or more. Else, meaning it's, you know, doesn't apply to this or the if up there. Then it's going to say else message box, you picked 49 or less. So... In a situation like this, it's not that bad, but if you're going to have a ton of ifs and elses, it's honestly better to get rid of that else right there and put this here instead. Because with that else, I have to sit there and go back up to the original if to see, oh, that's what these are all about. That's what this else is attached to. But here, I can look at this if... And right away know exactly what it's doing but then down here i can also right away know exactly what it's doing versus it being an else and then i have to jump up here and go up oh, there it is now with one or two it's not that big of a deal you know you can pretty much just glance up real quick but if you're doing a lot of this it's a much better way to go uh just so you instantly know what this is doing what this is doing all individually versus having to read this entire thing to really figure out what's going on so let me know what your opinion is on that uh you know i use if else a lot if i'm just doing two things but if i start getting beyond that i do start doing ifs for every single one just because it makes the code so much more readable someone can instantly understand what each function or you know if is doing and stuff like that uh, but yeah, that's pretty much it for this video, so hope you enjoyed it, and I will see you on the next one.